Hey, what's going on everybody? Uh, if you're new here, I'm David from Pedigo Family Farm. And uh, be sure to like this video subscribe, and subscribe to our channel. Uh, today we're gonna process our second batch of quail. Um, and I think we have somewhere around the 20 range to process. Um, shouldn't take too long, but we do have a new uh, quail plucker to try out, which I'm excited about. And uh, we still might skin a few too, um, but it's super easy. Uh, we'll show you guys the process and uh, show you guys a few other things on the way. So, hope you like today's video. Stay tuned. picked up our quail feed from Sligo Feed Mill in Henry County, Kentucky. We're going to head back to the house, maybe grab some gas in the van real quick, and uh, start getting set up to process quail today. I guess that's a good spot, right? <laughs> picked up this outdoor gourmet deluxe jet burner going to use it uh, we have a big pot to put on top of it and we'll use that to uh, scald our quail before we put them in the plucker all right got our base uh, came with a thermometer and uh, just a gas line to hook up to it. You just bolt it right to the bottom. Pretty, pretty simple. All right. And this is our new quail plucker. We picked up for about I think 250 bucks on uh, on Amazon. Let's check it out. Yeah. 
Yeah, this is the uh, this is the Wright Farm uh, Wright Farm Products Pro Plucker. Um, we're not sponsored, although you know if you guys want, if Wright Farm wants to reimburse us for this advertisement, they're welcome to. Uh, but no, we are not. Huh? Are you filming? Yeah. Hmm. Was school good? Yes. What'd you do? Regular school stuff. Huh? Yeah, I don't know. Regular school stuff? Yeah. Cool. Okay. You taking a break watching TV? Yes. Cool. Is it hot outside today? Yes. Yes, it is. You're right. All right, we are almost set up. I think we just mounted our kill cone on the fence. Uh, we got our plucker ready. Our uh, we need to get our uh, scalder on and heat it up, and then uh, then we'll be ready. Uh, now we're going to sex our quail. Um, we're only going to process males today, um, so we're going to keep all of our females for to have additional egg layers uh, for our flock. And uh, we're gonna process all of our extra males out of these two top cages today. So uh, let's get started. So all you do is sex the quail. All you gotta do to sex the quail is uh, just hold them upside down gently. You don't wanna be rough with the animal. Okay. Gently pull back on their tail. Expose their vent. Once their vent's exposed, squeeze just gently. If you see a white foam come out, it's a male. If you don't, it's a female. So this is a female. We're actually gonna place her in another temporary cage right now, and then we'll place our males down in this brooder box okay. that we're gonna take out for process. Okay, be quiet right now, Daddy. It's important. We're gonna try to find a male. All right, so this guy right here is a male. As you can see right here. Can you see in the camera? Yeah, can now. Okay. now. If you see right here, when you pull back, and gently just push a little. Right there, a white foam comes out. So that's one we'll process today. All right, we got all of our quail, uh, all the males that we're going to process into our brooder, and uh, we're going to take them outside and uh, and uh, get started. You got this? Alright, All right, we are waiting for our scalding pot to get to 150 degrees, uh, same as chickens. Um, we're just going to do it for less time and then we're going to put them over here into our quail plucker. Also got some donuts from local donut shop uh, all the ones they don't sell today they uh, donated to us and we're going to uh, give them to the pigs All right, it's a little late in the day, but we're ready to process. We have our scissors here uh, that we'll use to uh, remove the, head, the heads of our quail. And, 
we have some other ones over there that we use to uh, process after they're plucked. Uh, but let's get started. At this point, the quill doesn't feel anything. Um, it's just the body's natural action to twitch after the head has been removed. Um, it'll rest here for a few minutes and then we can move it to the scalding pot. Yeah, we're just bringing them over here. We're gonna drop them in our scalder, which is getting a little warm here. Let me turn that down just a little bit, if I can. Uh, we're gonna drop it down in our scalder for a few seconds and then straight over to our plucker. All right, here's our plucker. Turn our plucker on. Go ahead and turn around, Dan. Okay. Good. Still on take on 30 seconds. Oh. Holy cow. Our beautiful skin on quail. Can you see him on the camera? Yes. Tell me, can you see him good here? Yes. Real right good. in the middle. In the middle? Cool. Yeah, so nice first time using our chicken, our quail plucker, I'm sorry. And we have beautiful skin on quail. Uh, now we're going to hand them off to the ladies and uh, they're going to remove feet and spine guts and um, get them ready for the cooler. Avery, you're not a lady but you're with the ladies today. Come on over here and process. No, you can leave playing. Come on over here and help process. Help your mom with your hands full of work. You're going to be doing a lot of it. Let your sisters cut off feet. Your mom's going to guide you through it. You hear what you're doing, mom? Okay. Same as before, but just now there's no skin. Now there's skin on it. You want to come right here and cut on each side of the spine. Okay. Actually, I'm sorry. You cut this off first, and then you cut on each side of the spine, and you just take all the guts out. All right, and then you gotta go with your thumb and get the lung out. Okay, and that is it. Yeah, from the back, you cut this whole spine out. Take it off, you cut, cut off here first, where see where the vent is, you wanna cut right here. Just cut that off. Hey man, I've got a share of hair. Why would you do that to my brother, Avery? Why? This side or the back? doing this way later than we ever planned to but we the kids wanted to be included so we wanted to wait until after school and it was just really hot you know earlier today when they first got home but uh thankfully we picked up this cheap $20 light from Harbor Freight so we don't have any problems seeing what we're doing and it's still it's still relatively daylight out so I, I think we'll finish in time what do you have well are they ready to go on the scalder yes and then the plucker mm -hmm. all right well let's can go no daddy will put it in there because it's hot but come can on we can walk over here though Do you? And it's good for you. It is good. Drop them. We're gonna drop them in the in the shoulder. Don't touch. It's hot. You know you want that hot water already. Don't turn on yet. Oh, you can do it next time. I'll do it on the other two, okay? Okay. Get them out. See, look. See if any feathers on them. Pull those off. Go on the ground. They're gonna cut most of that stuff off there. Feathers on the tips of the wings. That one looks good. Alright, go take that one to mommy. So I can check, check the feathers. There you go. Alright, see? Dad, how colors. do you take off the feathers from the Grab them and pull. Are you having fun, Abigail? Look at her. You are? Okay, they don't go far. <laughs> right into the scolder. I got one. Twenty-nine or more, but it's at least. Last
batch three in the in the scalding pot now, and then we'll uh, buck them and gut them and be done. The last few quail here on the table. You can go help mom finish up, bud. The rest of them are already in our cooler. Um, I guess we just need to go dump all this and compost. Um, you know, spray our tables off and we'll take our scissors in for mom to wash and just get our, our stuff put up. No whole lot. We can take the canopy down tomorrow. It can stay up for tonight. <laughs>